Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Tarot for You 444. Um, today I've decided to do a, a timeless reading. So if you come across this um, channeling, um, you know, it doesn't matter what date you come across it, basically, um, hopefully there will be a message here for you. So what we're going to do is focus um, in on the Divine Masculine and we're going to have um, three different channelings coming through. So all I need you to do, um, if you are a Divine Feminine, um, I need you to just pick a number between one and three. So I'm going to do a channeling for um, a Divine Masculine for number one and then I'm going to do a channeling for a Divine Masculine number two and then I'm going to do one for number three. Now um, it is possible that if you uh, listen to this recording all the way through that you may actually resonate with more than one so if you want to pick you know one and three or one and two or three and two etc that's fine um okay so what we're going to do is just start with as you're picking um, in your mind we're just going to start with a little message now from spirit that's coming through okay so what i'm picking up um, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, throat chakra. <laughs> so, um, usually if I need to clear my throat, um, during, during this process, it's because, um, someone's not speaking their truth. So that could be either divine feminine or divine masculine. So whichever way that goes for you, um, you know, um, I'd also like to just say before I start that the terms Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine are just energies and sometimes of course um, there can be a gender role reversal and of course there can be um, twin flames um, who are both female and both male. So, um, you know, it's just for the sake of the reading that we're talking about um, Divine Masculine today. So... Um, uh, also remember we've got divine feminine and divine masculine energies uh, within us all so if you're feeling like you're resonating with this as a divine feminine um, then that's also possible okay so spirit are just coming through generally and saying that um, divine feminine is actually being seen as the empress um, by the divine masculine which means um, you know, she's unconditionally loving, she's passionate, um, she's speaking well, um, she is, um, you know, in that space of, you know, being a divine feminine for her masculine. So that's a really good energy that we're picking up on. And um, it's also saying that in the recent past she's come toward divine masculine um, and also there's been some heartbreak there um, uh, divine feminines coming through saying that a long tight hug would be perfect from you right now and that she loves divine masculine very much so that's how the divine feminine seems to be coming through um, there's also a mention of third party situations still in the way uh, regarded to location regarded to uh, perhaps there are you know other partners involved perhaps there are you know work issues involved inner child wounds is also coming up okay so what I want you to do now is pick um your Divine Masculine reading, number one, two, and three, and then we'll get started. If you need a little moment to choose, um, you can pause this recording um, and then you can come in. 
Okay, so number one, Divine Masculine number one. He says, please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of. And he's also saying that he would really like to call you. Okay, so that's a good first message to begin with. So um, there's something with this Divine Masculine that's caused him to lose passion recently. And, um, you know, it's something in in the 3d that's uh, he's he's been seeming to be waiting on an opportunity or or um you know a business deal or something to do with work um that hasn't quite come through and so because it hasn't come through he's feeling off balance and he is also feeling you know a little bit alone really um and as if you know he's kind of wondering when you know this situation might come well like come in um, and it does seem to be relating to money here so uh, with divine masculine number one what I'm also seeing is that in the recent past he wanted to come towards you um, but there was some sort of you know heartache or um, you know he felt in his mind that you know he just couldn't quite bring himself to do that um, and then you know then we're getting the energy after that um, which is also a recent past energy that he has worked out that you're definitely you know um, you know past life um, friends or lovers so um, you know this divine masculine clearly does know um, that you know divine feminine is very important to him so he's in the recent past again he's lacking this ability to hold on to something financial and it's kind of been quite heartbreaking for him um, it seems to be a financial issue, but I'm also getting that, um, you know, some of the divine feminines associated with divine masculine number one could have said something, um, you know, in the moment that was a little bit cutting or if it's not divine feminine, it's something to do with work that kind of cut him um, a little bit deeper than he had hoped. Um, and so when he, you know, he thought something was going to come to fruition um, and it hasn't. So that can either be regarding the divine feminine or something to do with work. Because in this particular um, channeling, I'm getting that, you know, he is concerned about money and he's also concerned about heartbreak um, or heartache. Um, again this third party situation issue is coming up so either work locality uh, money issues you know there's just something there um, that's not letting him come forward to divine feminine um, as he would like to he's um, he's been in his mind very much in his mind about this and of course you know we're in um, when we're in our minds we we let our ego take over sometimes and and when that occurs unfortunately um, you know the heart space can can lose out there and not you know tell the truth of what really is going on with feelings um, so you know when you, when you focus on being heart based instead of mind based um, then you can come in and you know speak your feelings which is obviously you know divine feminine is quite good at speaking their feelings usually in most instances um, and divine masculine usually finds this quite difficult so he's still in his mind divine masculine number one and he's either having work issues or issues um, you know kind of feeling a little bit brokenhearted about something that hasn't come through that could either be in love or 
um, in a work situation. Uh, you can probably hear a bird um, calling out a little bit there. And so that's just a synchronicity um, to agree with uh, what's being said for Divine Masculine number one. Um, but you know, it, it also says, let's remember that he says, please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of. And he really does want to call. So whether he does call or not is a whole nother thing. Um, but he does want to. So that's good. Okay. So now we're going to move to Divine Masculine number two. And he is a little bit, um, he seems a little bit stressed out because his message is that I am struggling to find the right words to say to you. So, um, so you know, he's actually trying to take a breath and, you know, it's as if he's writing that text message or about to call and then he goes, oh, that's too hard. So he kind of, you know, he stops and doesn't do it. Um, that's the feeling I'm getting coming through very strongly for Divine Masculine number two. So if you haven't heard from this one for a little while, it's because he has been thinking um, about coming forward. Uh, this Divine Masculine number two is doing quite well with money. He could be an entrepreneur and he could also be, um, you know, someone that's generally confident although um, he is still having difficulty saying his truth speaking his truth so that's must be in the beginning when the throat chakra issue was coming forward for me um, that's because this divine masculine and there it goes again <laughs> is um, having a little bit of difficulty speaking his truth and the reason is um, he also may have been a little bit unwell recently um, I can see that he may have had a little struggle with his health and or um, in the recent past he's been a little bit off balance so you know his work you know relationship sort of cycle has not been balanced but he's coming into balance now and he's you know he's he might even be getting a promotion at work or you know he's not doing badly with money at the moment the universe is offering him something tangible something he can action um, he's manifested this for himself he has um, also uh, he could be an artist of some kind um, a creative type he could actually be quite um, in touch with his feminine side as well because he's coming through as a very loving caring competent professional man um, or woman <laughs> because remember we you know the gender thing um, is um, you know divine masculine divine feminine um, is just a title and not gender based here Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just have a little bit of a look now um, and see why he was um, finding it difficult to communicate in the past. So, and he's also having a little bit of difficulty coming through now. Okay, so what we're, what we're getting now, what's coming through um, is that he really is struggling um, yeah it's like he, he could have a cold he could be unwell he could be um, feeling oh, I don't know I'm just trying to I'm just trying to tap into this collective for a minute um, yes yeah, so okay right so yeah he wants to celebrate an outcome uh, with divine feminine however he can't do that because he he just doesn't feel confident coming in with with his words um he's trying to move away from that type of feeling that he has um 
but he's just in his head. Um, he's also working really hard on his goals for career. Um, so if Divine Feminine, he does come through and he says something like, oh dear, <laughs> um, I'm, you know, kind of not feeling 100% at the moment. Um, the advice from Spirit here is that he does do some deep breathing exercises. Um, so that's coming through. Uh, it's also coming through, you know, maybe it's this cold thing, you know, has he got a cold or has he got, you know, you know, an infection of some kind that's affecting his lungs or even a sore throat because uh, that coughing from me before may actually be that he's got a sore throat. Um, okay, so that's, we're done for Divine Masculine number two. Okay, so Divine Masculine number three, that's, that's the next one we're doing now. And he says... We are in each other's life for a reason. Thank you for showing up. And apparently he's been having a little bit too much takeaway lately and needs to do some cooking. That's the advice from Spirit for Divine Masculine number three. Now Divine Masculine number three is coming across as um, he was single in the past perhaps but may not be now. Um, that could be if that's not resonating um, then it might be that he's feeling tied up with something um, and he's feeling like he wants to move um, okay let me just see okay so yep so okay so he's either he, he's either in a relationship and wants to move out of that relationship or he's um, feeling like he wants to move into something with work um, but feels stuck because he hasn't he hasn't got the capacity to do it he's lacking some resources um, this divine masculine number three is coming across as quite a sweetheart um, he seems to be quite romantic um, and he knows he knows that this is a past life connection definitely he knows um, he may even have been researching um, the topic of twin flames um, he, he isn't quite seeing all of the picture though he's missing he's missing something important and that thing that he's missing is um, that he's holding on to his ego a little bit here so he's kind of, you know, a little bit defensive sometimes. Um, I'm hearing the words passive aggressive at, um, sometimes. And I do believe um, the reason that this is happening is because he's highly sensitive. He's highly sensitive to his feelings and what's going on um, in his action space world. So. So it's kind of like, um, you know, the duality between being spiritual and having your ego. So you kind of, you know, because we live in a 3D reality, you sort of need to have a little bit of assertion. You still need to know, you know, where you're going and be assertive. But then, um, you know, when you do ascend um, and, you know, have a higher vibration, you also become sensitive to people around you that cause drama and he's feeling right now that he needs to be defensive in some sort of karmic situation whether he's married or whether he's got a boss that's being not fair um, I'm not entirely sure but but the message for divine masculine number three is that this is a new cycle beginning and there is you know wish fulfillment on the way for for relationships for work um, and for you know anything that he wants to do however he could have a struggle with addiction and that could pertain definitely to um, drinking so you know this divine masculine number three like I say he can he can 
be because he's highly intuitive and very sensitive he can instead of doing self-care he may reach you know for something um, that's not really good for him something toxic like alcohol or um, you know perhaps another type of drug so if you are you know uh, that divine feminine um, who's looking out for divine masculine number three you know be aware that they may be struggling with addiction problems and that they may have issues with karmic situations whether that's relationship wise or um, you know something to do with what's going on in their actionable world okay so now we've done divine masculine one two and three I'm just going to get a really super quick message for divine feminine because um, although I do focus a lot on the divine masculine um, I believe that um, it's important divine feminine you know knows uh, what to do um, in her role as well um, so yeah it's not easy to be either a divine masculine or divine feminine because um, you know as we are stuck in a 3d physical reality trying to live a spiritual life um, there is that big gap um, in between you know what society wants us to do and what our soul um, longs for okay so I'm just going to get a short message um, from spirit here and um, and the message for divine feminine um, regardless of you know which divine masculine you've picked today um, is that you aren't left down in the cold a divine masculine loves you very much he has the utmost passion for you and um, even if he hasn't shown it it's mostly because he's um, you know been in his logical mind and this you know inability to make a decision um, regarding love which some of them you know find extremely difficult um, has been on his mind for a very long time he really really sees you as his equal he sees you as um, someone he loves very much he is coming through uh, no matter which divine masculine you picked again um, as the Sun he's coming through as um, he um, sorry he thinks you are the Sun you know he thinks you're his um, North Star is also another thing coming through you know without you his world would seem very dark um, he he has wanted to tell you that he loves you and he's find he's found that difficult um, either because he's in a relationship or you are or there's something else in the physical reality that is stopping him from saying so so um, uh, I'm also getting you know some of, some of the divine masculines recently have had some sort of heartbreak and it's really coming through very strongly could be a mini dark night of the soul if you don't know what that, what that is please look it up um, you know there's a lot of information on the internet regarding the dark night of the soul and as we go through the twin flame journey it's it's um, very difficult because at times you know we we need to purge certain things and if he's not doing the inner work um, then he's going to find himself feeling you know down heartbroken bored sad um, he may even run away for a while um, and ghost or do things you know that you know had he been doing the inner work might not happen so the other advice lastly for divine feminines is the more you focus on yourself the more you will bring in your divine masculine to you so don't focus on your divine masculine um, I mean yes you know if he's messaging and things like that of course you know don't ignore him um, but focus on self-love first um, because at the end of the day you are both connected and what you do for yourself you also do for your divine masculine so if you're having a tough day 
and you need to take a break from work or you need to meditate or you need to you know raise your vibration by eating healthy foods or something like that I highly suggest that you do as much as you possibly can each and every day um, toward your own ascension and that will also bring him to um, be guided to take action as well okay so I'm sending you so much love and light on um, this day if you'd like to book a reading with me um, my details are down below and if you'd like to subscribe or like and share I would absolutely love you to do that um, just lastly I'm going to be bringing in some other di different types of readings to see um, what the most popular is I might do some horoscopes in the near future um, and you know my focus is really on twin flames and um, ascension so yes um, I'm really really glad to have you all here and thank you so much for joining me I wish you a wonderful day wherever you are bye